Hello everyone and thank you again to Télégaspé for offering us this video recording. This is the fourth video describing the situation of the town of Gaspé facing COVID-19. We are on March 19th at 3 p.m. We continue our prevention act actions. For the measures implemented so far, I refer you to the previous publications. Today, in addition to the basic reminders, I will focus on three subjects. A new system of municipal alerts, air transportation, and the importance of strengthening volunteer support for our vulnerable people. First, I want to greet and thank all of our people who offer essential services, whether in health, in public, uh, municipal public works, in special daycares, in our emergency or civil security teams. Thank you also to Prime Minister Legault, who acts as a real father for Quebecers. Today, the Prime Minister asked us to avoid travels from one region to another. He also recalled the importance for peoples that are back from a travel since March 12 to remain in quarantine. There are still people who do not respect their instructions and will go to the grocery store or to shop. We no longer know how to tell you. Stay at home. Also, we remind you, it's important, for people aged 70 and over, or for people with a chronic illness, do not go out in public. We don't want you to get infected. An elderly lady was infected with COVID and died yesterday in La Nodière. I don't want it to happen here. That's why we are so insistent. Also, it's important for, it's important for young people not to meet our party. Don't get together. Limit human contacts. Wash your hands frequently. Keep, keep your distance from others and stay at home, especially if you are in quarantine. Every day, people are reporting cases like this to me. We want everyone to listen the instructions. So today, I announced a new measure. So we are launching a new bilingual municipal alert system. This new system offers the possibility for the town of Gaspé to reach people by phone messages, SMS, or emails. The system will be used to warn citizens for various alerts, like an interruption of water, closing streets or closing public, pu public places, floods, etc. The system is particularly, particularly useful when major emergencies happen. In the particular context surrounding COVID-19, we are, we are launching it right now. The more people regis register, the more effic efficient the system will be. I did it myself. It takes less than one minute to register online in both French and English ville.gaspe.qc.ca Also today, I spoke with Air Canada. They inform us that for the, be the beginning of April, they will no longer serve Gaspe or the Magdalen Islands. If there, is, if there is a need, they can charter planes for specific purposes. On our side, we keep the airport open, especially for medical evacuations. Also yesterday, I told you that we asked to the CISSS to have professional on-site to encourage people returning from their trip to quarantine. The CISSS said yes. And already last, on last night, people were at the airport to do the work. I want to thank health workers for their great collaboration. Always on yesterday, I was talking to you that we asked to the social development team to, of the MRC Code de Gaspé to make an extra effort 
so that we join our vulnerable people and our people confined at home to make sure that they don't lack anything essential. This morning, our people spoke to each other. The CISSS, the Centre d'Action Bénévole, Vision Gaspé Percé Now, and our other organizations helping vulnerable people. The effort is organized regionally to properly coordinate volunteer assistance. We know that some of our regular volunteers are over 70 years old and are confined in, uh, to their houses. We will surely need relief. The people who are available, start thinking about that. We'll get back to you soon with a way to send your interest to volunteer. But, but think about that. In the meantime, if people need urgent psychological or social support, use the following line, Info Social, one, uh, 811, 811. Another element, our team at the MRC will also encourage food merchants, like uh, grocery stores, restaurants, etc., to continue their services or their efforts for home deliveries. People at home need to have food, so we have to deliver it simply. Finally, always at the MRC, we are in the process for, of organizing an economic unit for the businesses. The Minister of Economy will announce additional, additional me measures this afternoon. For our part, locally, we should announce additional measures, measures on tomorrow. We will also group together the economic programs that have been adopted and transmit them to uh, our entrepreneurs and their employees to make their lives easier. I will have more details on tomorrow. So this completes my fourth message to the population of Gaspé about the COVID-19. I remind you, if you want medical information, the number is 1-877-644-4545. And the website is quebec.ca slash coronavirus. Thank you to all the people collaborating to this collective effort. effort. Thank you also to limit your presence in public, to wash your hands frequently, and to obey to government instructions. There are still no cases of COVID-19 in the Gaspé. Let's continue to do this fight together. Thank you. <laughs>